Don't forget to keep checking out the links down in the description and if there are any other vulnerable communities that I don't have listed below that you would like me to bring attention to and start trying to help those communities as well, please let me know down in the comments, message me on any social media so that I can add them to the links. All right, fuckers, let's get into it. Hello, frenzies, welcome back to my channel. I, so sorry I called you fuckers. I'm just in a mood and one of my eyes keeps getting like really fuzzy, which is good that I have an eye appointment coming up in a week because one of my eyes is freaking out. Yeah, like I just blinked and whoa. Okay, so today this is very off trend and like a million years late in terms of the internet, but I wanna talk about my Pokemon cards and I wanna talk about the shiny Pokemon cards I have. I'm wearing the same outfit that I wore in my video where I talk about like if I had a gym in Pokemon Sun and Moon, which also in terms of the internet was about a million years late. This is not my Pokemon trainer outfit though. If I was a Pokemon trainer, I would not be wearing this. That's the Halloween video. I almost started shuffling my Pokemon cards. I'm not gonna do that because they are in a very specific order, which you know what? After this video, I think I am gonna go through my Pokemon cards because this is a thick stack. Um, and there are ones that I definitely don't want anymore, but I have Pokemon cards just like any person that was born in the 90s. I have Pokemon cards that I've been collecting since I was young. I never played the game, like the card game. Don't understand why we collect them. It's just one of those things that 90 kids will always have. And I want to talk about my shinies. Because aren't shinies like a big deal in the game, but also like in the card collecting community? I just know where I work, we do sell Pokemon cards and it is insane when they were like a thing a couple months ago and even like last year. It is insane. Like we get annoyed with how many people come to get their Pokemon cards because they stand right at the front of the store and the poor vendor is like trying to sit there putting out like the new packets and like the collector's edition things. They're trying to put them out and these people are just like hovering and that's fucking annoying in retail. But anyway, <sighs> Pokemon cards. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting very stiff to not knock my hat, but my hat is on my head. Actually, wow, my hat really is on my head. I have a fat head. This is incredible. All right, let me know if you're a if you're a Pokemon person that like stumbles across my video. Let me know if any of these are worth money, because TBH, honestly, desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, so out of this whole stack, I have this many sh shinies. Do I do? I'll do from the back, because it's not what you're supposed to do when you open up a Pokemon pack. You're supposed to like open it up, take like one of these, put it to the front, flip them, do a whole thing. I have no idea. I watched a couple people, like I watched the Crank Gameplays like two hour live stream that he ended up posting to YouTube like forever ago of him opening Pokemon cards where he got the like shiny Charmander. Charizard? Charizard. That was like sold for like $500 or whatever. I My friend at work collects Pokemon cards and has like a shiny Charizard and she will not sell them. She's just going to keep them because she likes to, she has the like old, um, old school binders with the little slips in them. Pretty impressive. Okay. So first I have Town Volunteers. You can play only one supporter card each turn. Okay. So this is a supporter card and it's Town Volunteers. I don't know. I don't know if I need to do like the beauty hand. Wow. Okay. I don't know. I have Blastoise with a 1995 like like thingy on it. It's shiny. It's shiny on like the, the picture of him. Right? Pretty cool. I like Blastoise. I'm a go I'm a ghost Pokemon girl. I've talked about this. Um, my favorite Pokemon is Gengar because Gengar is fat and spooky just like me. But I don't mind Blastoise. I do really, I think I'm like a ghost person and then water type. You know, just because I think ghosts are just my favorite overall, but water I think is my favorite to fight with. Like in, in most Pokemon games, I will choose the water starter just because the advantage and also they're usually the cutest ones. I have Tentacool. This is 2002. This one's pretty neat. It was me and this um, kid whose mom babysat me all the time. He had Pokemon Yellow and I remember stealing it from him and taking it home and then my mom making me return it. We used to do cards together and I think I stole a couple cards from him one time. I stole a lot as a child. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me, but I stole quite a bit when I was young. All right, we have Gyarados with a, with a 1995 thingy. Oh, and this is when they used to put like the stage one. So it's a Magikarp in the corner. It says evolves from Magikarp. Wow. 
I really like Gyarados. I think the Pokemon Crystal was my favorite game to play when I was younger. And the red Gyarados that you could get in the fucking, the lake with the, it's the town with the ice gym leader. He's like the sixth or seventh. Probably one of my favorite sections in the game. I have Cacnea, 2003, Poison Payback. That's a cute little dude. Didn't Cacnea come from Ruby and Sapphire? I think I remember Cacnea from Ruby and Sapphire. I have some Pokemon knowledge. I have Nine Tails from 2002. Very cool. Have you guys seen those videos of people who like take a Pokemon card and they like paint over like the stats and stuff and like expand the pictures? Those are dope as fuck. Another Nine Tails, but this is like a different type of shiny. This is 1995, so this is the older version, right? Blitzel? Oh, it's the it's the electric zebra. This is 2011, so this is newer. Blitzel, very cute. And this one's from... I'm taking a guess because I didn't play a lot of the mid-year Pokemon games. Is this from X and Y? Let me know. I have... Oh, this is a cute one because it's the old art style, so it's like a very chubby baby. I have a Raichu from 1995. It's the, it's the chubby baby cheeks because on my pile of non-shinies, I have the... Oh my god, I have two of them because one's a little closer. I have the old style, the old Pikachus as well. So it's it's like the fat little mouse babies. What do we have next? M Muna? Mana? 2011. All right, another one. Oh, I remember this one. Isn't this one in... Did I play black and white? I think I played black and white, not X and Y. This is from black and white. I remember that because it's like a beginning stage thing. You beat like a gym leader or two and then this is the guy. Is black and white the one with N? I'm pretty sure I played black and white. Is it, is it Raikou? The fucking legendary beast? Listen, they just, they're called legendary beasts. They're not specifically called legendary cats, but they're not called legendary dogs. From 2007. God, the Pokemon Tower. I... Gold and silver, okay, so gold, silver, and crystal were my favorite thing. I had Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Crystal, and then one of my brothers got Pokemon Silver, and I stole it and played with it, <laughs> because I think I still have all three. No, I only have gold and silver. I don't have crystal anymore. My, okay, so my brother, my oldest brother, had crystal, because he bought it, like, with his own money. Went away to college, came back. I asked him if I could play it. He let me play it. And I kind of kept it longer than I probably should have. He asked for it back so he could show it to one of his friends and then lost it. And I was pissed because I had my save game on there and I was this close to catching Suicune. Aaron, I hate you. <laughs> Aaron, if you're watching this, evil. Oh, I have Ensei. <laughs> Legendary Beast, baby. This is 1995 to 2001, and my eye's getting fuzzy again. Very cool. I loved the Pokemon movie with Entei in it, where they, like, kidnap Ash's mom. Another fucking Pokemon that wants to fuck Ash's mom. God, Mr. Mime is a horrible influence. I got Suicune. At least I have the card of Suicune, right? I was never able to get the Pokemon, but I got the card. This is 2002, by the way. I don't know why I'm reading off the years. I'm just into it. Jirachi? Oh, I loved this movie as well. And this is, this is 2004. Jirachi is so cute. I love Jirachi. Celipi, my baby. Weren't you able to get Celipi in one of the Pokemon games? You had to get like the Pokey Flute. Oh, but wait, didn't they discontinue that? Wasn't it event, an event that you had to get the Pokey Flute to be able to get Celipi? This is from 2005. I fucking love Celipi. Celipi is my baby. A little onion, a little weird Pokemon onion, but I love it. And then I have Mewtwo from 1995, and this is, Mewtwo's art is very upsetting here, but there you go. I got Mewtwo. So that is my, that's my stack of shinies, right? That's pretty dope. And that's, this is not from anything recent. I cannot tell you the last time I bought a Pokemon card. I have, hold on. I have not bought Pokemon cards in a very, very long time, but I should have. Where is she? Where's my ghost babies? Because I, I remember sorting this by type at one point. 
Is it this one? It has to be this one. Ooh, I think I have an old... I think it's this specific Mistrevis card. One of my friends at work um, has, like, Pokemon cards. I don't remember why he has them. He just has Pokemon cards. And he's been, like, giving them away to us because some of the people at my work wear... Just because of, like, what they do, they wear a little, like, um, lanyard with, a, with their, like, card thing in it. Well, I'm, like, touching my own boobs. And he was giving everybody Pokemon cards to put in their lanyard, so I had this and... I had it in the like back of my phone case and it was really cute because I asked if he had Gengar and he didn't have Gengar so I took Mistrevis instead but I need to double check something because I think I have an old artwork of Jinx like the racist artwork of Jinx I don't okay I just have Mr. Mime with a newer fairly newer art style I think yeah, I have ones, like, because, like, any other fucking 90s kid that kept their Pokemon cards, I have, like, EVs with, like, old artwork and everything. Slowpoke and Jigglypuff. I'm trying to make sure they're in camera. A Tauros with the old artwork. A Dratini with the old artwork. Yeah, because this is 1995. Like, I don't know. I just wanted to show off my shinies and kind of ask if they're worth any money. I don't know if they are. Some of them might be willing to part with. So, if hey, if you're a collector and you want... Ooh. If you want some shinies that I have, let me know. I have three separate Porygon arts. I like Porygon. Who remembers? I was going to say the conspiracy. It was not a conspiracy. It was like a legitimate thing. Who remembers the episode of Pokemon with Porygon that came out that they had to discontinue and like remake because it gave some people seizures? Who remembers that? Who remembers that? Who remembers racist Jinx? Wasn't there another Pokemon... That was like a racist caricature. I just remember that Jinx is blackface. I just remember Jinx is purple. It had, has more like pink lips than red. I have like four ponytas, Jesus. A bunch of different arts of Growlithe. A Charmander, Charmeleon, I have a Bulbasaur, Ivysaur. So I have like bits and pieces of Pokemon evolutions, not the full thing. I actually really like Gloom and Vioplume. I would just never have them on my team. I'm not a poison type. Oh, I have another Suicune, but he's not shiny, and it has the Pokemon Forever on it. I'm not a poison type Pokemon. I really like, like, I love water types. I like my Totodile and my Mudkip. I will, those are always my starters. I do have a racist Jinx! It's a fucking water type and not a psychic like the other one. Why do I have a racist Jinx? I, what year is this? That's 1995. What's my other Jinx? Hold on. Hold on. So the racist Jinx is 1995. Where's my Jinx? Where is she? This one's 1995. So when did they change Jinx? When did they fix the blackface? Because I don't remember. This is the same fucking year. This is water for some reason though. Okay. Oh, I have a Squirtle! Squirtle, War Turtle, yeah, and then I have the shiny Blastoise. I love how I quickly changed the subject. I should probably get rid of Racist Jinx. I will get rid of Racist Jinx. There's no reason for me to have it. Lots of Seals, lots of Psyducks. I should, I should go through this and get rid of stuff. I have fucking Mystery Fossil from 1995. That's pretty dope. Oh, I have Island Cave from 2004. Whenever any player attaches an energy card to his or her hand to a water, f I believe that's fighting, or, I don't know, steal Pokemon, remove any special conditions from that Pokemon. That's weird. I have Erica's Maids. I have Mr. Fuji. I remember this card from 1995. Look at him. I will never forget that card. I love that card. I have Pokemon Trader. And I have, oh my God, I have Bill. Look at this bitch. That's really cool. I remember those cards and I never understood them. I feel like when I was little and there were like Pokemon cards because uh, two of my older brother, my two of my older brothers, my middle older brother and his friend were the, my brother's friend was the older brother of the kid I spent a lot of time with when I was younger because it was their mom and they knew each other from school. So then his, their mom babysat me and the youngest brother, so, right? So, uh, Danny, his name was Danny. The older brother, Danny, had Pokemon cards, and I think Danny actually, like, played the card game. 
So he had really cool cards, and when I would sit there and go through his cards because he would let me look at his stuff, uh, he was nicer to me than my older brothers were when we were all younger. He would let me look through his cards, and I always wanted to play with, like, I would always, like, pick out the Pokemon I like and put them off to the side because I was like, these are my Pokemon. But I always played with, like, the energy cards and, like, the Pokemon trainer and, like, Bill and stuff like that, and I always, like, had more of those than the Pokemon I had picked out. And I remember when I was younger, it was mostly water types and Pokemon that were cute. And I still do the same thing because ghost Pokemon are weak to so many things. I love Gengar, I love Phantom, I love Mystery Vis, I like, I love Pumpkaboo. I love Pumpkaboo. <laughs> What's your ideal Pokemon team? Let me know down in the comments because mine is a team of ghost Pokemon. And then if I had to pick a legendary, it would probably be Celebi. If you could have your perfect six Pokemon team plus a legendary, who would they be? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs>